implausible nature now has dice. That's right, you can get these awesome D6s made by our partner, Baron of Dice. These custom dice have the implausible nature logo on the six side and also come with square corners, which means they will roll more evenly than rounded corner dice. Head on over to baronofdice.com and use discount code IN40K to get a discount on your order and support us at the same time. Check out his full collection of dice for all your gaming needs with the link down in the description. Hey guys, welcome to Implausible Nature, your home for all things uh, Black Templar. Uh, on today's Templar Tips video, we're going to be talking about something that I call slingshotting. Uh, so what do I mean by that? So uh, slingshotting, uh, in short, is using the charge phase and the resulting uh, combat phase after that in order to get a unit further up the board than they might otherwise be. This could be an important combat unit that maybe just was too far out of position or uh, just a unit to push into your opponent's deployment zone or onto an objective or something along those lines, right? So um, how does this work? So uh, the idea is that you're going to multi-charge a unit. And when I say multi-charge, I don't mean charge two different units. I mean, you're going to charge uh, a single unit, single enemy unit with two of your units. One is the unit that you want to slingshot up the board. The other is a unit that you are certain is going to destroy the unit that you are charging. So the way this works is you're going to charge both of them in, assuming they're gonna get in, we have rerolls to charge. I hope that you're gonna make it in because otherwise this is gonna fail miserably. And that's the end of the, the video. But no, uh, we've made it in uh, to combat. Um, and as you can see, uh, here's an example uh, of it in a recent game I played on a Tabletop Simulator. Um, so um, you can, uh, you're can you going to charge these two units, and the, you're going to swing with the unit first that you are certain is going to destroy that unit. Uh, so when you do so, uh, that unit gets destroyed. And now you're left with this other unit that's just sitting out in the open with no one to fight. Uh, that's okay, uh, because the criteria for being able to be selected to fight is one of two things. Either you are in engagement range of an enemy unit, or you made a charge turn, a charge move that turn. So because they made a charge move that turn, they are eligible to be selected to fight, even though they don't have anyone to fight. Uh, which is fine because the fight phase sequence does not require someone eligible to be attacked, only that you made a charge move um, or have someone engagement range of you. So because they made a charge move, they will get to pile in and then consolidate uh, with um, up to three inches each time towards the nearest enemy model. Uh, this will allow you to get closer and closer uh, with each one of those as you do that. You can also use your charge movement, uh, depending on how well you roll. If you roll really high in your charge and it wasn't a very long charge, you can use that to snake around uh, the back of the unit a little bit in order to make sure that you get even more movement. Uh, so that way, when you consolidate and then pile in, uh, you'll have even further, uh, you'll go even further than you uh, would before. So this is a very handy tactic that you can use. Um, you do does require some coordination on your part, obviously, uh, because you're going to be needing to make sure that one, the other unit that you're charging in is going to kill the thing that you want to kill. Usually you're going to charge like a weakened squad of something or a wounded vehicle that only has like one or two wounds left. Um, in this case, you can see I charged the Wave Serpent uh, with High Marshal Helbricht, and uh, he smashed it to pieces. Um, and then my sword brethren uh, were able to uh, consolidate, or excuse me, pile in and then consolidate on their turn uh, in order to um, uh, gain some extra distance and get closer, uh, you know, to where I wanted them to go. So that's how that's how that works. Um, if you guys uh, have used this tactic, uh, let me know how it went. If you've never used this tactic, uh, try it out and uh, tell us uh, what you think of it. Um, but I think it's a powerful tool for us to be able to move uh, a unit uh, potentially into a better position uh, than it was before. Uh, I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, check out our Discord and Patreon. Uh, and until next time.